Join <laughs> us right now. For the second consecutive week, he has been named the Mountain West Defensive Player of the Week. That would be Aztecs Corner. Darren Hall is on with the Canadians. Darren, how are you today? I'm blessed. How are you guys doing? What's we up, Darren? are, uh, man, man, two weeks in a row, Darren. This is ridiculous. Yeah, that was big time. I got to thank God, man. I got to thank God. Hey, Darren, before we get started talking to you, I want to play something from your coach, Rocky Long. He came on this morning. He does every Monday morning uh, talking about the Aztecs. Here's what your coach had to say about you, Darren. He's got a lot of athletic ability, and he's wearing number 23 on purpose. He asked for number 23 because that's the Monte Casey's number, and hopefully he'll turn into that kind of player, but he's had a couple really good weeks. And that is an understatement, Darren. I mean, you had the clinching interception against Eastern Michigan in overtime, and then uh, did you know Brett Rippon had not been picked off all season long? First player in the game, you picked the guy off. So what's been going on, Darren? You, you seem to be totally locked in right now. Yeah, going into the game, sir, we had um, an emphasis on creating turnovers. We didn't have any turnovers this year going into this game. So we knew that he didn't, many, he didn't make many mistakes. He's a real good quarterback. He's usually on his game. So we know he came in with like he had like 14 touchdowns to interception. So put an emphasis on going in there trying to make uh, get in his face and make him a uh, hurry and throw some interceptions, and he did that early. Darren, you can you can sit there and say till you're blue in the face, we need to get more turnovers, but then going out and doing it is a completely different ball game. Is it something you guys saw in film study in the week leading up to the game? We had a great week of practice uh, last week. Um, Every day we do like some extra ball drills after practice, making sure that the ball comes our way. We have the have, we have the opportunity. We have to go up there and make it. Mm -hmm. And the ball came our way. It bounced our way a couple of times. And every time it came our way, we made that play. Darren, we we talked to several of your teammates leading up to the game. Of course, there was a bye week, so we had some extra interviews, and we kept asking everybody about last year. I mean, you guys were six and zero. Boise comes into SDCCU Stadium. You guys don't play well, and they whooped up on you guys. Was there any revenge factor? Was there any talk of some of the Aztec players who were there a year ago saying, man, we owe them one? Was any of that going on before the game? It was really just um, every game we go out there, we want to win. That's our number one goal every week, go out there and get a W, become 1-0 every week. But knowing that last year they came into our home, when we were a ranked team, uh, they came in and gave us a little uh, taste of our own medicine. We had to go out there and uh, execute every play. Uh, as we went out to Boise, you know it's hard to win at Boise. We only lost so many games on that turf. So um, we had to go out there and execute, and we did that. Hold on one second here. Ladies and gentlemen, Darren, we sorry to interrupt your interview, but guess what, Darren? The reason we're playing that Aztec fight song is that we are qualifying people, not qualifying people, we're giving away tickets for Friday night's game against the Air Force Academy and a chance to join us at our VIP party. Friday night's going to be something special, Darren, no doubt about that. Darren, it's it's Air Force, and I know Coach Long said you guys practiced uh, yesterday. You don't normally practice on, on Sunday. Trying to defense that offense is, I mean, I don't know if you can accomplish getting ready for it in a week does it boil down to just strictly assignment football when you're taking on the Falcons? Yes, sir. They run their offense to a T. They're a physical team. Um, they know exactly what to do. They're um, hard-nosed players. So when we play the, uh, with this week of practice, you have to just have all our assignments on. We can't make any mental mistakes because any mental mistakes can lead into a big play in that uh, uh, triple option offense. Now, you slid over from safety this past spring to the cornerback position. And when you're playing safety against the triple option I would assume a lot of times you're flying up there and you're nailing somebody who either on pitch responsibility or whatever the case may be. How dangerous is Air Force, though? Because there's always that time they don't run it and they pop it for like that option pass, and it seems like a Falcon receiver is running free. We just always have to uh, stay on our keys. Uh, if we, everyone does their own assignments, then try to do somebody else's job, we should be just fine. Darren Hall is joining us back-to-back -back weeks. He is the Mountain West Conference Defensive Player of the Week. Darren, the opening game against Stanford was a tough day for the secondary after a tremendous job of shutting down the running game. How much has this secondary grown since that first game, and, and was that actually, in retrospect, maybe a positive for the secondary moving on after that opening game against Stanford? 
Yeah, we've grown up the unit um, for sure. Um, every week we go in there, we have to uh, make plays. We watch the film together. Um, we used to watch it in separate rooms, but now we're together in every meeting, um, corners and safeties. So now we just, we're just getting closer and closer as a unit. And that game, it was like a wake-up call. Like we, we didn't. It was our play that kind of lost us the game. So our the front seven did an amazing job against Stanford. So we just had to make more plays in the back end as the uh, weeks have gone on. We've been making more plays, and that's what we did last week also to win the game. Darren, I was I was saying that I wish that you guys would not have had the bye week. You would have played Boise State. You know, the very next weekend was did the bye week come at a good time for you guys? Um, the bye week is just a week for us to get healthy and um, get like a little bit of bruises and little injuries, knocking injuries away. But it came at a great time. Um, we had a little extra week to prepare for them, which was good. Um, so it also it came in handy. But uh, if we played them without the bye week, you still would have uh, executed just as well. Now, technically, Darren, you had interceptions on consecutive plays. Your last play of the game against Eastern Michigan and your first play of the game. <laughs> against Boise State, have you ever had interceptions at any level on consecutive plays? No, I have not. I've never had interceptions on consecutive plays. It was um, actually kind of crazy that I didn't realize until um, one of my teammates was like, was that like back-to-back interceptions? And I like had to go back and think on it during the game. I was like, yeah, it actually was back-to-back interceptions. And then after the um, game, Jamie came up and told me the same thing, that we, it was back-to-back plays. So it's just a, it's a great experience. I think I thank God. Darren, you know, when you're playing safety, you're coming up on run support, you're helping over the top, you know, you, you, you're the quarterback there in, in the secondary, you've got everything in front of you. When you're a cornerback, however, you are out on that island a lot of times by yourself. How's that adjustment been? Um, coming into um, San Diego State, I played a corner and safety in high school, so it wasn't really a big jump for me. Um, growing up, also, I played both positions, so... I've naturally played both positions, but mm-hmm. naturally I feel like I am a corner. I like being on the island a lot more. Um, that, don't get me wrong, I like being safety, being on the top and helping and coming down and making tackles, but being on the island, on that island is just something about that that makes me like uh, love it, and I just love it. Well, Darren, I'll tell you what, congratulations again, man. Unbelievable win. You guys were two touchdown underdogs. You have a backup quarterback, backup running back. Defense had to come up big. You guys came up big. And for the second straight week, Darren Hall is the Mountain West Conference Defensive Player of the Week. And the best part of this, Darren, is by getting that first win in your first conference game, you guys control your own destiny, Darren. That's where you want to be, sure right? Do. You just control yeah. your – as long as you're winning, no one's going to beat you in the Mountain West. It's as simple as that. Yes, sir. We have a, uh, a mission to win 22. That's what, we're, uh, that's what we're trying to achieve this year. All right. Well, Friday night will be your next opportunity out at SDCCU. Our listeners going to be out there, Darren. We're going to be out there. You're going to be out there. Uh, all the best, man. Great preparation this week, getting ready for the Air Force Com- Academy. And congratulations again on another big victory. Thank you, Darren. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, Darren. Right, there he is, another outstanding young man you that plays just, for the Aztecs. You can hear the excitement in his voice as he's realizing during you know the, a conversation with us, yeah. his first true dose of Canon Karma. I, I, it just it permeates. You know, it, it, it really comes does. It comes through. Uh, that's pretty freakish, though. So... In consecutive plays for him. Yeah. <laughs> consecutive plays. 